Oxford Street on a policy order 259 regarding Upper West. Uh, I didn't intend to speak on this a third time. I didn't even intend to speak on it a second time. Uh, we just lost the Bridge Repertory Theatre Company despite a hardening attempt at Art Center oversight by the Council during the springtime budget process. Aside from such once a year budget related efforts, the main way I see the Council being able to represent Cambridge citizens and serve as a check and balance on potential municipal malfeasance is, as far as I have seen the planning charter applied over much of the past 10 years, to hire and fire the city manager. That process brings significant expense and turmoil, and the practical complications of replacing a manager are not insignificant, which makes reprimand of a city manager difficult. Uh, it might happen at the end of a three or four year contract. It's hard to imagine it happening mid-contract, especially when a city manager is doing the rest of their job adequately or well. Where does that leave us in terms of checks and balances? Uh, that's why I see this policy order as a test. If the city manager won't listen to and act on the concerns of citizens and discipline might or might not take place during contract negotiations, if at all, we need the city council to step up. If a single policy order isn't the best way to do this, even when seeing its third week on the agenda, we need to think about a better process. When it comes to the License Commission, I must tell you that I've talked extensively with the proprietor of a business in Cambridge who has serious complaints there, but doesn't want to make noise about it, or for me to write about it, because that small business owner has fear that the Commission will retaliate and make that business, and I quote, like those Upper West people the victims of a vendetta by the city that is supposed to treat all fairly and without prejudice. Over the past decade, I've spoken with city councillors who say their ability to confront or challenge the city manager is limited by their fear of having their initiatives frozen out by the city manager's office. The current council will have to gauge for itself the degree to which that remains true, but I'm pretty sure it's not how the writers and adopters of the plan e charter intended things to go. Any relationship where one party is in fear of the other is not a healthy relationship. Bridge Rep was in a hostile relationship and left the city. I hope the city council does not have fear of challenging a city manager who has not acted despite evidence of malfeasance on the part of those under him. It could show the rest of the city that we also have less to fear. Thank you. Thank you. Please email those comments. Is Goldie